welcome back uh, colonel sanjay pande here again this is the 10th episode <clears throat> in the 9th we uh, gave you a uh, insight into how the next 4 5 years, uh, episodes are going to be and uh, this one particular is about the case study the last one basically was about uh, the 3 year journey that we had in the company uh, ups and downs and how exactly we revived the entire company and why did it happen it happened only due to one reason and that one reason was that from micro to macro from sequentiality to simultaneity from thinking in very very open environment with an open mind putting everything on timeline and thereafter every day morning evening reviewing everything and then taking actions for the next day next week next month and the year all of it simultaneously something that i tell shubhankar always is that if your mind cannot oscillate from micro to macro simultaneous to uh, to sequential and you cannot put all of this on a timeline and then since the slice of the time is precisely pointable you can put the finger as soon as that time passes it will never come back so how exactly are you going to put everything together at that point and take that one decision and take those 200 decisions which means you are taking decisions for macro you are taking decisions for micro you are taking decisions for all the things that must go on in a sequential manner uh, in a simultaneous manner everything that must go in a sequential manner like a railway train all of it to be put on timeline and this is possible because you think differently and it is this thinking training which i have been giving and like uh, 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 i will at the cost of repetition the day shubhankar actually thought that he knew everything about every aspect about running the business because he had done everything himself there is nothing theoretical absolutely he has got hands on experience of everything and the day he did that that is the day he thought that he is going to get a good pat so i just told him one thing your 10% of your entrepreneurship journey is over excellent very good and that's the day he was in a shock what is the balance 90% i said 90% is thinking which you don't do today when he sits here he knows exactly coming straight away down to a particular case study i got into uh, being friend with one of my friends who had huge amount of money so suddenly told me he says you know he is uh, uh, into container yard business and that he already has three container yards and uh, he is planning to buy another seven and uh, so and so person uh, from uh, container corporation of india an ex employee uh, he is in charge and uh, this is what we are doing so for one year he carried on with that and there was one day when he was sitting with me with my chartered accountant when the chartered accountant told him uh, that you have zero experience you have no knowledge so why don't you take uh, kanal saab and just uh, let him audit your entire company and then you'll come to know exactly what is happening and he agreed and that is how and before even starting with him i made him uh, uh, have a board resolution signed uh, copy given to me uh, appointing me as the ceo all the paperwork was done so that legally i am completely covered i was supposed to get inside the company and find out everything that is happening the only connection he had with the company was the regular call he would get from the general manager i require find a half lakh rupees so and so for rent so and so for salary so and so for this so and so for truck i require 6 and a half lakh rupees i require so much this man had already put in 1 crore 25 lakhs by that time by the time i had joined he had to put in another 2 crores in that and 
he had absolutely no clue of what was happening. His only request was, ki, Sir, just let me know what is happening. How many employees? I don't know. Where are the employees? I don't know. Who gives salary to the employees? General manager. Where is the general manager? Ahmedabad. Where are your container, uh, container yards? Calcutta, Hooghly, Ahmedabad. Where does that person stay? So and so place. Where are your vehicles? So and so place. Where are your agreements? I don't know. Where are your agreements of rent? I don't know. What are the charges for the trucks? I don't know. Now this business is about the containers that you see on the railway freight trains or on those trucks on the highway. So whenever these come from uh, in the ships, so they get stored at a particular place. They are called container yards. Or you have these big uh, businesses which uh, manufacture in bulk soaps. So they are manufacturing in East India and it has to be actually distributed in uh, West India. So uh, entire rake of containers is hired by that company. They fill in all bogies, 50, 60, 70 containers, massive ones and the whole special train goes. So how exactly do you unload them? Who unloads them? Which crane unloads them at the station? From there, how exactly are they brought to the yard? What is the software which is used to track these? What time does it come? What time does it go out? There is every micro process in this costs money. Thereafter, who is giving you business? I don't know. Where does it come from? I don't know. Who is doing sales? I don't know. What exactly then are you doing? His reply was, sir, I knew so and so, so and so from last 10 years. He said, get into container yard and I will take you through. So I just had money. So he kept his land, he kept his house, he kept everything I to the bank as collateral. He picked up a lot of money from the market. And uh, then he was told that, okay, just about three months down the line and you will start getting uh, your returns. Uh, so this man was not uh, thinking of anything less than a crore, crore and a half as his uh, monthly profits. And here it was that more than one year had gone by. He had no idea. He had no idea where his current account was. Uh, at one time, uh, the general manager had taken the authority from him to sign the checks and everything. So the current accounts were being controlled by the general manager. The chartered accountant was hired by the general manager. The directors were these two people. And then I asked him only one question that tell me one thing tomorrow. If something goes wrong, someone has to go to the jail. Who goes to the jail? I called his lawyer, made him sit, made him understand. He told him, I said, these two people go, the directors. And he, the general manager gets scot free. That is the time they realize that there is something not correct. And after our number of meetings, thereafter they took out the documents and the letters that I wanted. So legally, once I was completely covered, I got into it. And we started from emails. There was no email ID and there was some weird, uh, unheard of company of which 10 email IDs were taken on which there was no correspondence. The correspondence was going on private email IDs. There was no CC to the directors. They had absolutely no clue how the business runs. From the email IDs to the mobile numbers which were given to the bank, to the current accounts which were with the bank, to the agreements which were being made with the uh, landowners uh, of those yards, everything was kept by the general manager. And that is the time that I told this guy, I said, uh, okay, I have no choice but to go on ground. And that's the time my entire thing started. One by one, one by one, I started unearthing things. And we had to keep the sales going. So I got into the sales. I started meeting all these companies, big companies, which are using the containers. And this is one of the worst businesses to get into. If you do not know the processes, if you do not know how the containers are tracked, how the international containers are tracked. 
if you can find out location of an international container what happens to the containers when they come in a particular country they are thereafter unloaded that is emptied what happens to the empty containers where do they go so the more i got into this the more i started realizing that this was one of the most complicated businesses where these people had just got into it on promises of big money as far as the yard rents were concerned from a lakh rupees a month to 2 lakh rupees a month to 2 and a half lakh rupees a month the staff it was all uh, the staff at the gate there was a software at the gate the payments would take place at the gate the containers are tracked so meticulously minute to minute that the company always knows the owner company always knows where exactly the containers are even if they are kept on the ground how exactly technology is helping locate each container how they are connected to the gps now this is entirely a different business from the containers which run domestic so domestic containers have got entirely a different uh, way of handling but each of these containers have something to do with uh, uh, a truck that would pick it then the, uh, the cranes that would pick up the container how do they, do they get stacked how do you hire these trucks and once you go down to ground you find out and most of you anyone who knows about this business most of the trucks that you see on uh, all these ports running around and carrying the containers all of them just operate locally 90% are not even registered so it's a crazy business so there is a staff which is at the container yard permanent staff their job is only to manage those containers give reports manpower this paperwork and nothing else then who gets the business so the general manager would go for business so he had his own restrictions so he would not go for business so he thought that it was an excellent opportunity to put everything on this person who is now joined as ceo without even realizing that i had joined to find out what exactly was happening in exactly 3 months a official written report was given and submitted to the owner that even to get out of that business even if he takes the decision that day to close all the container yard that he has he had to pay a minimum of 2.25 crores taking into care whatever small revenue was coming so this means whatever money had gone more than about 1 and 1/2 to 2 crores another 2 and 1/2 crores just to close the business and chartered accountant tells last 3 years no report has been filed so from how to take control of the current accounts to how to get everything back within 3 months 99% of the controls were all brought and given to the management officially everything was now owned by them they had to they were the entrepreneurs they had to take a decision to get out of it so they pay they don't want to get out of it and they want to continue so agony only prolongs why because they have no clue how to get the business so unless you know how to get the business where do you get the profits from and the general manager was there raising hands so he would create a problem every day so right from their hr to their administration to their finances to their current accounts to their funding to their sales to their marketing to their bd small things like email ids their subscriptions their software website there is no aspect of that company that we did not audit in those 90 days and there after submitted a report as to how do you exactly revive this company back if they have to and that is where this container case came to an end 
later on two years later yeah two years later the latest i came to know about them is all container yards were closed the general manager sacked somehow as we had suggested they were able to manage to get out of all legal quandaries financially almost 3 and a half crores down not a single rupee out of this retrievable why i talk about this case is this is the typical case where the entrepreneur has money and he has no knowledge and there is no way he can learn and it is only that lure of that money that okay this much money i'll get every month that makes him do and where does exactly the staff which is supposedly the trusted staff his trusted man for 10 years where does it take him so it's not about human character it is about capability if you have good character but you have got no capability what do you do so that's why this this case study actually is a, a very very good eye opener for most of the people who have their successful businesses running today and successful is money because that is understanding you have that is not my understanding i will rather have less money but i will rather have 100% control through 100% knowledge first hand which i have so when a a, a person a colleague who speaks to me i should be able to see like an x-ray through him been there done that i know everything what you're talking boss no it will not happen this way it will happen this way at the end of the day it is you who are responsible so whether it is an entrepreneur whether it is business or whether you are a vice president or whether you are a general manager or whether you are a youngster who wants to have a startup this is applicable to everyone and because my thinking was so beautifully structured over a period of so many years from macro to micro sequential to uh, simultaneous things thinking in a very very open way putting everything on timeline i was not only and this all was happening when my company was on the path to recovery after having been at the lowest so while that was happening on one side we also were doing the consulting job and getting the other companies out you will say how does it happen it simply happens because the thinking was very very uh, nicely structured and this is the thinking how exactly to think is what i have been training shubhankar which he does quite well now so here i come to the end of this uh, particular case study the container yard and uh, from here we go to the next uh, episode that would be the 11th one so 11th one uh, like i said uh, i will cover two cases uh, in the 11th uh, uh, episode of uh, my consulting experience only with two companies and with these three companies you will be able to identify yourself with someone or the other in this and it also gives you uh, the uh, the uh, insight into how diverse a man can think and it does not being in business for so many years doesn't make you intelligent if you know how to think correctly you will be successful wherever you are thank you very much for being with us uh, see you in the next episode episode 11 thank you so much and bye bye